much left of that. Another high quality 2x4 used here.
big screw in it. All right, one left. There we go. And it also had a screw in it. And this should just lift it out of there, I think. Oh no. That's right. It's attached. up and out of there. This is it, moment of truth here. I'm just caught in this corner here. I think there's one more screw. I gotta be careful I don't hit this. As soon as it's holding up the barn on this side. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. on the bottom. So something's been living in there for sure. There goes one now. I'm not very happy. They're not happy, I'm not happy. It's all cleared out. All the junk is removed. Um, so nothing to trap water when it does come in. And it will. Nothing I can do. Uh, this year anyway. So now I have to put a 2x4 back into that hole. And hope that it holds up for a year or two until I can report this. So there's the 2x4, a fresh 2x4, um, 
sitting on a sill gasket to hopefully keep it out of the, the water as it comes in. Um, I ended up pulling the plywood. It was too far gone to even bother saving, so I just got rid of it. Um, and now I have a nice gap, but uh, it's only temporary, so. Uh, onwards. The next step is to put the uh, the one by six spacer that will make up the difference of this crack here. So I keep forgetting to record, but uh, there's the one by six. I'm not going to secure it. It's just a spacer, um, just to bring us up to the level there. So, if I want to put one 8-footer uh, sill plate here, I need to, I need to cut through these. Um, it's already jacked, so it should be okay. Uh, I just hadn't planned on it at this stage. So, one more step. Okay, I'm going to go set my four footer, I'll be right back. Alright, here she is, cut the lights. Set right here. Oh, I didn't finish cutting this. <laughs> Darn. Thanks though. There's always something.
battery's fresh charged. It's temporary. I'll put this in here so it's got support for tonight. Scary part. Take this out. I'm gonna set this down. There. Okay. So I'm just gonna bring this side down for tonight. Let it sit on these. Let's sill. Sitting on the new sill. Uh, so there's the. That's probably a better shot here. You can see the one by six, which is just acting as a spacer. Uh, there's a two by four underneath that, uh, filling that void. Um, and it's wrapped in sill gasket, so uh, no further rainwater will deteriorate it. Uh, the new uh, pressure treated 1x6 is on the bottom. That will be the new sill plate uh, when I repour this concrete. And on top of that, I have a, just a regular uh, 2x6, uh, not pressure treated. Um, so that will come up and meet these studs. Um, not forever, but they will. Uh, they won't meet them in the future because um, I still gotta cut off all the rot. Like this has like a four inch piece of two by four in there, and I'm sure it's rotten past that point. Uh, this one's pretty rotten still. Uh, same story here. Um, this one's hollow on the inside, and this this uh, cistern two by four only goes to there, so not very efficient. And uh, this stud right here is totally rotten all the way up to about there. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, there might be some salvageable material there, but I, I don't know. Because where it's uh, connected to the joist, again, that's all rotted out. Uh, there is some solid material here, but then it sort of gets hollow again. And behind here, it's it's uh, pretty, pretty empty. There's a big gap there. Um, so, first I need to finish working on this corner. I need to get uh, this angle piece removed um, because it's got nothing under it and it's not doing anything at this point. I'll take it out. Uh, I'll save it. Um, I might use it uh, to fix the, uh, the rod that's in the corner there when I replace that post. Also, I'll do a half lap and then uh, put that in. Um, but in the meantime, I'll remove it and put a new uh, 2x6 here in the corner and uh, cut a new angle piece uh, and make sure it actually touches the ground and then uh, fix all the, the rotten uh, stud stud bottoms. So I'll work on that as I, as I work across. 
and once I get here, I don't know, because that's really in bad shape, and then this other side of the window is just ridiculous, like why? Why would you use something that looks like this? There's no point. <laughs> and it is nailed in place. Someone chose that piece and nailed it in place. You can see the nails right there and there and there's other ones as well. Uh, so that's silly. And of course this one it's nailed to is also rotten on the bottom. And this particular one goes all the way up to the top. Well, they all do that, but this this one is down maybe an inch, an inch and a half at the top. It's separated from the beam. Um, so I definitely know this is dropped. And if you actually go up in the loft and you look at these notches, you can see that they all kind of bow down towards this one beam. So uh, this needs a lot of jacking before it's back in place. Uh, so that I'll get there. I just got to work slowly across and add the re-add the structure and uh, cut out the rot. That's the plan. So, thanks for watching.